Greetings to you. I'm Keith Massey. Islam is a monotheistic religion. The creed of Islam, the cornerstone of what Muslims believe, is there is no God but God. The Arabic of this statement of faith, known as the Shahada, is La ilaha illallahu. The Shahada then also includes a confession that Muhammad is the prophet of God. In this video, I will present my theory that the exact wording of the Muslim creed was crafted to combat a particular facet of the polytheism current in the Arabian Peninsula prior to Islam. Now, I'm not a Muslim. I am, in fact, an Eastern Orthodox Christian priest. I am a scholar of Semitic languages. I have my PhD in Biblical Hebrew and Semitic studies with a minor in Arabic from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I am the author of Intermediate Arabic for Dummies and Arabic Character Writing for Dummies. Now, prior to the advent of Islam, one of the most celebrated deities in the polytheistic pantheon of the Arabian Peninsula was the moon god. This made some practical sense for them since travel in the heat of the day was difficult and travel in the night when the moon is not visible at the time of the new moon could be perilous. When the first hint of the crescent moon would reappear each month, it was a cause of celebration for such polytheists. The word for crescent moon in Arabic is Hilal. They would cry out, Hilal, Hilal. There is even some speculation that the ultimate etymology of the word hallelujah could be related to this word. Now, hallelujah in Hebrew means praise the Lord, but the Hebrews derived from the same original Semitic polytheism as the Arabs. Much earlier than the Arabs, they had arrived at monotheism, but that word which once celebrated the reappearance of the crescent moon could have evolved into a word to praise God in general. Muhammad preached radical monotheism into the polytheistic Arabian Peninsula of his day, and he therefore rejected any worship of the sun and moon. This rejection is included in the Islamic scripture, the Quran, which states the following, La tasjudu lishamsi wa la lil qamri wasjudu lilahi alladhi in kuntum Do not prostrate to the sun or to the moon, but prostrate to Allah who created them, if it should be him that you worship. And so here's my observation. I don't know of anyone else who has ever proposed what I am about to present. Muslims to whom I have shown this had never heard the theory previously. The Shahada, La ilaha illallahu, contains the letters of the Arabic word for crescent moon, Hilal, twice in a row, backwards. By its very formulation, the Shahada simultaneously confesses monotheism, but literally, and I mean literally, rejects polytheism by asserting the opposite of the word Hillel, and it does so twice in a row. 